Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20, and today we're going to take a look at editing these chevrons up here. So how do we reorder them? How do we change the labels? Uh, what are the different things that we have available to us? So the first thing we're going to do, uh, like I said, we are looking into demand for this. Uh, so I've been working a lot in SPM recently, so it's only fitting that we look at uh, the demand. So the first place that we're going to go, uh, under all here, we're going to look for process flow. We can click on process flow. You can see here we're on our flow formatters. Now, once again, I'm looking at demand, so I'm going to uh, take a look at my table here and show matching for the demand table. So here we can see all of the ones that we saw up here, all of these chevrons. And we can also see the order that they're in and when they're going to come up. So oftentimes, if we click into one of these, in this case, the approved one, we'll see that it will show, it will highlight the label approved when that state is approved. So if I go back to my demand here and I go to approved, for instance, I'm going to save the record. We can see that we've now got approved as highlighted. So that's what those conditions are going to be, are going to be when should this Chevron be highlighted. So let me go back here. We also have the order here. This is going to be the order that they show up. So based on this, we can see the draft is first and then submitted. If we go back into here, we see draft is number one, submitted is number two in the order. So this is where we go if we wanted to change those. Now, by default, on demand, rejected is in the state of false. If I turn this into true here, go back to my demand and refresh it. We can see I now have rejected here. Now I'm going to go back and turn it back off because I don't need it for this instance. Click false. Go back to my demand, refresh one more time, and we no longer see rejected. Now there is a special state in this one, and let me show you here. I'm going to go into deferred. I'm going to save my record. Now we can see that the completed Chevron is gone. It has been replaced with deferred, and <clears throat> it is highlighted here. So if we look at the deferred here, let's open this one up. We can see, and this is just out of the box, the state is deferred, rejected, or incomplete. It will show deferred, and this is number 10. Now, the one question you may have here is, well, where did the complete go and why isn't it here anymore? Or if I want to hide the additional ones, how would I go about that? So to do this, it's actually going to be a business rule. So if we go into configure, business rules, I'm going to go to all because it's actually a global business rule. I'm going to copy this from my handy dandy notepad. Click enter. And what I copied is right here. And um, we can see it down here as well, DMN underscore demand underscore process flow list. So if I go into this here, now in my advanced tab here, if I scroll down a little bit, this section right here is going to determine uh, if the complete should be hidden. So right here is that line to remove complete. And this is saying if it's this sysid, which this sysid matches the deferred sysid. And that matches from the flow formatter itself, matches right here. So now you know how to adjust your chevrons, how to add new ones, and if one is hiding, where do you go to fix it? Thanks, and have a great day.